Hello everyone, my name is Mr. Bullet on Fire 12 and welcome back to some more Modern Warfare 3. And in today's video, we're going to be talking about COD 2016. A few days ago, some information actually came out about the game and what it's actually going to be. We know what Infinity Ward is going to be making for their new COD for this year. It's confirmed that it's going to be called Call of Duty Infinite Warfare. And it's also confirmed that if you buy the Legacy Edition of Infinite Warfare, you will also be getting a remastered COD. COD 4 in particular is that Call of Duty that is also coming back for this year's Call of Duty and that's obviously insanely exciting news I mean I'm really happy that COD 4 is coming back because in my experience with what the game is like now back on obviously last gen it's insanely hacked and you just cannot play it so obviously it's fantastic that it's coming back for current gen because it'll be playable again you can actually play COD 4 again and COD 4 was an amazing game and I'm just sad really that I didn't really get to have that much experience with COD 4 because I got it very late because obviously I got my PS3 a few years after that game actually came out so I didn't really get to enjoy COD 4 that much and I can't really enjoy it anymore now because it's stupidly hacked and it's just really impossible to play so the fact that it's coming back with the new COD this year as a remastered game is brilliant and I'm very happy about that and in this video I'm going to be um, giving my thoughts on both Infinite Warfare and obviously COD 4 Remastered so hopefully you all enjoyed the video um, but I suppose we should start with COD Infinite Warfare now we actually finally know what the game is actually going to be called it's not going to be called Ghost 2 which makes a lot of sense actually because after how bad Ghost was it makes sense that they want to get away from the ghost branding because not a lot of people enjoyed that game I know there's obviously some people that did enjoy that game but most of the people who play COD hated that game so it makes sense that they want to move away from ghosts but I mean there's still possibilities that because we don't really know really too much about Infinite Warfare all we really know at the minute is we know the cover design from the poster that came out recently we know when it's going to be released, and obviously if you buy the Legacy Edition you get COD 4 Remaster. But we don't really know like too much about Infinite Warfare as the game. You know, that's all we do know, but I mean it's still a possibility that Infinite Warfare could still follow up what happened in the Ghost campaign. But, I mean it's still possible that you know they want to scrap it and they're going to make a brand new campaign with Infinite Warfare. So I mean there's two choices really. It could still follow up what happened in Ghost in the campaign. Or it's a brand new story with brand new characters, but we really don't know too much about that. Um, but the other thing I'm going to talk about Infinite Warfare is... I mean, just judging by the poster, I mean, I'm, I know I'm judging, but it does look like a futuristic game. And to me, eh, it's just... Oh, here we go again with another futuristic COD. Could we just move away from futuristic CODs now? I mean, I don't know how... I mean, how far in the future this game is going to be set but just judging by the poster it just looks like another futuristic game but I mean I know it's still very early and who knows the game actually might be alright but just from my first impressions of just seeing the poster for Infinite Warfare I immediately assume ah oh, futuristic game again are we going to get another advanced movement again you know, because I just want to just go back to simple days, just like when COD was back, you know, when Modern Warfare 3 was out, and, you know, past games, you know, before Modern Warfare 3. I don't want to have futuristic games anymore. But, who knows, the game might be alright. But th that's just my first impressions. Um, I'm not really too fussed of, you know, what is actually going to be happening with the campaign side uh, for Infinite Warfare. I mean, if it's going to follow up the story that happened in Ghost, fine, let's actually find out what actually happened because leaving it on that cliffhanger and then was a bit like, oh, is that it? So, I mean, if they do that, it would be great because then we can actually find out what actually happens in that campaign 
I wonder if they want to start it again. I mean, I'll still be slightly annoyed that I won't be able to find out, but I'm more focused on the fact that it just looks like another futuristic game, and that's not really what I want. But again, I don't really know too much about Infinite Warfare, so it may be alright, but we don't really know. But that's really my first impressions on Infinite Warfare at the moment. I really need to find out more information about the game before I start actually judging it more, but at the minute I'm a bit like, not really too excited about Infinite Warfare. I'm more excited about COD 4 Remastered, and that's what we're going to be talking about now for the rest of the video. Now, obviously, I'm very excited about COD 4 coming back, because right now, COD 4 in its current state is very unplayable. You, you just can't play it anymore, at least in my experience anyway, because I tried to play it a couple of months ago, back in February, and it was just stupid. Like, the game has just been taken over. You can't play it anymore. There's literally no lobbies. At least I could find, anyway, that were playable. They were just stupid hackers doing, you know, whatever they felt they wanted to do with the game. And it was ridiculous. You know, I made a video about this just towards the end of February. And that video got very popular, actually. And, you know, a lot of people agreed with me that it's just stupid that COD 4 has become this way with hackers just taking over and you just can't play it anymore. And, you know, all of you guys were sharing your thoughts and opinions on it as well. And it was great to see that um, actually happen. So it's actually good that it's coming back as a remaster edition so then we can actually play it again. Because after seeing that response that came off that video, it was, you know, amazing to see that. And obviously, thank you, everyone, for showing the great support on that video. Because that was one of my most popular videos back in February that I've ever made. You know, I think it's over, it's getting closer to 70 views, which, obviously, that to some people that might not be a lot. But for me, for obviously being a small channel, that's a great amount of views that that video has gained. So, obviously, thank you very much for showing obviously your support and your thoughts and opinions on that video because I might actually include some of that footage in this video now just to show you how bad it really was trying to play COD 4 when it's just so unplayable but literally thank you everybody for actually just sharing the amount of support on that video it was amazing to see all your support and all your opinions of what COD 4 has actually become with all the hackers you know overtaking the game and you just can't play it anymore so obviously COD 4 coming back, it's great, it'll be playable again, you'll be able to play it. However, I do see some positives, and also some negatives, with COD 4 coming back, with this Legacy Edition for Infinite Warfare. Um, I suppose positive side, COD 4's coming back, it was a classic game, and if I hurry up and actually get a PS4, and obviously get the Legacy Edition, I'll be playing COD 4 Remastered a lot, and actually this time I'll be able to actually experience what COD 4 is like, because I didn't really get a chance to really experience it, because I got the game very late. I didn't get the game until, like, probably 2011, end of 2012. 2012, sorry, no, 2010, sorry, when I actually got my PS3 back in 2010. And, you know, obviously the game was very late, and it was very hacked at that point, so I didn't really get to experience the game too much. I have very little playtime with it, so this time around, I'll be able to experience what COD 4 is actually like, and actually have fun with it. Because, you know, for a lot of people that actually did play it back then, they they miss it, because you just can't play it now. Um, however, I, there is some information we do know about the COD 4 Remastered Edition. And this is where there are some things I'm not too happy about. For one thing, COD 4 had 20 maps. Obviously, that's including with DLC maps as well. We do know... The COD 4 Remastered, if you get it with the Legacy Edition, is only getting 10 multiplayer maps. Now, in my eyes, a Remastered Edition is a game which is exactly the same as it was before, but with updated graphics. Now, obviously, with a game like COD 4, it's obviously going to be a bit different because obviously it's got multiplayer aspects. I mean, in the past, I'm thinking of games just like, you know, the old Grand Theft Autos, like Grand Theft Auto 3, you know, San Andreas, for example, that got remastered. But obviously that game has no multiplayer on there, so you don't need to worry about that kind of stuff. All you need to do is just up the graphics. Obviously with COD 4, I mean the way I see they should do it, is that it should come back uh, with everything in there. So it's got you know updated graphics, 
But because obviously it's got multiplayer aspect, it needs to be, you know, obviously tweaked. So obviously any bugs and things like that, that should be fixed. But obviously a lot of people are talking about, you know, the fact that they're obviously stripping down the maps, in my opinion, the maps, all 20 of the maps should be there. That's obviously including the DLC. They should all be coming back. But then it's when you get to things about, you know, fixes with the game that need to happen. I would like it if anything that was broken with COD 4, that should be fixed. But a lot of people are now recently talking about, are they going to strip down other th things about it in the game? And obviously I was listening to these things that people were saying, and actually there's a couple of, of points, actually, people make uh, in their videos. Like, for example, perks and things and other weapons. Would they really just strip it down with some, you know, weapons that were hardly used at all? Would they just only keep, like, weapons that people wanted to use? And the same with perks as well. Because if you remember, and I completely forgot about this, perks like Last Stand and Martyrdom, they would be coming back into this remastered edition. And those are perks that nobody wants anymore. We fought for years to get rid of those perks out of the game. And obviously, they're not in the game anymore, but they were in COD 4 when it came out because, you know, we, you know, COD 4 was very different. You know, those perks had not been seen before. So those perks would be coming back. Obviously, people are going to be thinking, are they going to just strip down those perks as well and other weapons and maybe other aspects about the game as well? We don't really know. What we do know is they've stripped down the maps. In my opinion, all the maps should be coming back to the game. That obviously includes the DLC maps as well. So then all 20 maps will be in the game and then the updated graphics and then fix anything that was slightly broken with COD 4. But then, obviously, how do you get around, obviously, these things that would they strip down other things about the game, like the perks and the weapons? Because, obviously, I don't really want Martyrdom and Last Stand to come back, because they were horrible perks. But we don't know what they're going to be doing with that yet. And another thing that... Something else that's with this Legacy Edition. I mean, it's great that you're going to be getting COD 4 Remastered, but it's very expensive. And so far... I mean, I would assume that after the game has come out for a bit, then you can buy COD 4 Remastered separately. Now, I'd be very disappointed if you can't buy COD 4 Remastered separately after a bit of time. Because at the minute, people do have money struggles that are in situations like that. Not everybody does, but like me in particular, I've been in money struggles for a while, and then I still haven't been able to afford a PS4 yet. So then, trying to find enough money to then get a PS4 and then pre-order this Legacy Edition for Infinite Warfare to get Call of Duty Master. That's a lot of money. And I think really that they should definitely make sure that you can just buy Call of Master separately because it would be really stupid if the only way you can actually get Call of Master is if you just buy the Legacy Edition. I mean, to be honest, I think really they should be doing it separately as well just because, well, I mean, just from the little information that I've seen about Infinite Warfare, all I really want from this Legacy Edition is COD 4 Remastered. So either they should just bring down the price a little bit, I mean, who knows, that price may drop down anyway, we don't know, it's still very early days, but I do think that it is a lot of money to bundle in for the Legacy Edition of Infinite Warfare and COD 4 Remastered, and all we do know is that we're getting less maps that COD 4 did have in this game. So, I don't know, I mean, it's great it's coming back, but there are some things I'm a bit concerned about, and I'm not really too happy with, um, but it's still very early days, we still need to find out more information that's obviously going to be coming out later on in the upcoming months when we actually see footage for Infinite Warfare as well, and get more information on that. But, I mean, that is today's video, talking about the new card, we know finally what it's going to be called now, we're obviously getting a remastered game, but there are some things I am concerned about with this Infinite Warfare and obviously COD 4 Remastered as well. But we still need to find out more information. But anyway, I'm going to end off this video now. I hope you've all enjoyed it. And in the comment section below, um, let me know what you think about Infinite Warfare and obviously COD 4 Remastered as well. And I hope you've all enjoyed this video. And if you have, remember to leave a like rating and subscribe if you are new. But for now, it is goodbye from me. I shall see all of you guys very soon with my next video. So take care guys, and goodbye.